Hi guys, welcome back to Simple Stamping. Um, I'm just bringing you a little um, easy project using the Varied Vases. Now this is uh, available in the new catalogue and I'm sure it's in the current one as well. Positive it is, I've seen there's lots. Um, but it's a new stamp set to me so. Um, here's a little card I made um, the other day and I've made my own background. And I've used the Let's Celebrate You sentiment out of this stamp set, Bloom and Grow, which is a new one for the new catalogue launch, so it's quite nice. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I've used um, Bermuda Bay for the cardstock, it's 4x4, four four. and I've got Varian Vanilla for the front, for the stamping, um, what do you want to call it, the stamping layer. And I'm just going to create a little background using Bermuda Bay and using the stamp on and off and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So if I get my little um, floral stamp here, this is a two part, the other sections here that goes on top. So right, where's my Bermuda Bay? I love this colour, it's absolutely cool as ice, smart. Okay, hang on get it open. Right, now all I want to do is stamp off and then stamp on. Just random on your card base, stamping layer even. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And you'll see the difference in the two. There's the original stamp colour and there's the lighter colour. So if you're short on inks or anything, this really is a good um, way to change it up a bit. So. I'm just uh, concentrating here. <laughs> I want to stamp some off. Oh, that one was a bit dark, do apologise. Uh, one more in here, I think, and one more on the edge. There we go. Clean up your stamp and go for part two. There is another option to do this little image on top as well, um, but I like this one. I like this one. Now, all I'm going to do is use the Bermuda Bay again, and I am going to carefully... Um, stamp on top and you will see how awesome that goes now that was my little boo boo one but it doesn't matter and it doesn't need to be precise exactly on your colour background stamp um, I think it looks nice a little bit untidy Gives it a little bit edge. So, dun, 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 dun. whoops, that one's a wee bit squint, but it doesn't matter, like I say. Da, 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 da. You can make your own background papers for doing boxes or envelopes or anything. There we go. So that's a little background image and I think it's actually missing one. Let me do another one here because it looks a bit empty in that corner. I do have the smaller blocks for doing this but it's been lazy using the big one. Right now Now that's that done, we can pop that on the card, like so, right in the middle, and I'm going to apply a colour section over here, and that'll hide that wee boo-boo. 
So all I need is to cut a slice of this off. So let me move the ink out of the way. And I want this at mm, an inch. An inch is a big enough bit for it. And then I want to cut a piece of very vanilla down to um, seven eighths of an inch. Like so. My cutter blades are wearing a bit thin. So I can pop that on there, you see. I'm just going to trim it down another little bit. Like so. And that will go on there. Easy peasy. Over there, that way maybe. No. Stick with what you'd work on to do. Right, now I just want a little bit um, shown each side. This is a tiny little bit squint. So let me fix that. I'm going to shove that down there now. Like two. Make sure it's straight. And get a wee second. Yep, that's pretty straight. And I'm going to stamp a wee sentiment onto here and stick it on the top. Really, really simple card. Let me trim this slightly. There we go. Right, now, what sentiment? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, hope your day blooms with happiness. That's what we'll use. And that'll fit perfect. Now, these um, photopolymer stamps sometimes the longer ones can twist a little bit so you're better putting them stamp side down and then picking them up with your actual um stamping pad block thing right so let's pop this in the middle like so super cute if you wanted to you could add some um ribbon or um embellishments or whatnot but you know me, I like to keep things plain and simple. And we're just going to add that there. Like so. And now that's that that's on, you can't see the little boo-boo in the background. So, yeah. So if you've got layering stamps, um, do use them because they're so good. In this set, we've got, there's the little tulip that's got the two-stage this has got two stage that way or two stage that way. Um, these flourishes go on top of this little tree branch thing. Um, and the same with this on the poppies and that there on that bit of foliage. So it's really good. This one's pretty too. Really pretty. So yeah, just another little simple stamping. Make your own background card. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.